I know that I don't do gaming content anymore, but if anybody knows about Stardew Valley, you should play it because it's a, such an addicting game, but it's really, really good. It's the good kind of addicting. But anyways, hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you had a really good week. The past few weeks have been, you know, decently heavy and intellectual, so let's balance things out with something lighter. I'm gonna tell you my story with the first run-in I had on Grinder with a bi-curious straight man. Let's preface this story with the fact that a lot of media, you know, rom romanticizes how attractive straight men are as opposed to gay men, and gay men are not um, immune to that. You know how straight people are always like, oh my god, why are the good ones gay? I think there's, there is sometimes that mindset of, oh, why are the good ones straight? Also, the grass is greener on the other side. Not really surprising, I'm hoping. Whether you're gay or not, we're all fed this idea of what masculinity is, and straightness does play into that idea of masculinity, even though it's not right. We do feel it, too. So, I was on Grinder, and this guy, um, messages me, and... He hasn't really done that much before, but he does want to try stuff. I asked him for a pick because he didn't have a pick, um, and he sent me one. You know, he wasn't very well dressed, but, um, you know, he did pass all of the check marks in terms of attractiveness. He had a well structured face, like really sexy jawline. Um, he was on the tanner side, which I'm not going to say no to. Just from his picture, even though he didn't have his shirt off, I could tell that. Um, you know, he was, like, at least decently muscular. I'm not into, like, roided out dudes. I'm not into, like, muscle, muscle dudes, but I do enjoy the look that you do take care of yourself and go to the gym often. And, you know, we did a little bit of sexting, and, you know, I was asking him to come over or if I could go over to his place, and he said that, unfortunately, he didn't have any time, and I'm like, you know what, that's fine, I understand. I say that to guys all the time. It's totally cool, let's check in another time. And I think it was for like maybe a little bit less than a week that he responded to me. You know, I do do my best to check in with people as often as I can um, to let them know that I'm still interested in everything. And it was only a week later that he responded. And, uh, and, and again, he said that he unfortunately was a little bit busy. This went on for another week and I eventually had to ask him, hey, like, are you still interested? Because you sound like you are, but you're not willing to make any time. You know, I have a full-time job too, but you know, I'm willing to put that time aside, and you do sound like you're interested, even though um, you don't have any time. Once again, after a little bit of back and forth, he said that he actually was really nervous because, you know, once again, he's never really done that too much before. I was trying my best to negotiate with him because, you know, like, I... If you've seen a, my previous, if you've seen previous videos, you'll know that I don't do a lot either. I like to keep things really, really light when it comes to hookups especially. And then this dude tells me that he's been really busy because he's been, I don't know, fighting with his girlfriend. I've been talking to this man for weeks, and it's only now that he tells me that he has a girlfriend. And so I asked him if his girlfriend knew that he was, you know, fooling around with guys a little bit, and he said no. And, and then I was like, Okay, why didn't you tell me this earlier? He said, like, the most typical straight guy shit I've ever heard in my life. He was like, oh, I'm telling you now. Man, am I right? God. That was immediately when I knew this guy was trash, and I told him that, hey, like, I'm not comfortable being your dirty little secret. And, you know, until, like, you're comfortable, like, telling your girlfriend, and, you know, like, if you're not comfortable negotiating with your girlfriend about, you know, trying things out with guys, then, like, I'm not meeting with you. Like, it's definitely not happening. I'm not going to be the other dude. Until you get things sorted out, don't talk to me again. Like, this guy was 29 years old. 29 years old. And you just got this feeling that even at that point in his life, you know, older than me, he still didn't quite have himself figured out. I was pissed at him, but also, like, I felt really bad for him because as someone who is very social justice oriented, I, ha I don't have a lot of sympathy for cis straight men. But, but I had, I had to kind of feel bad for him at the same time because he obviously still, still didn't have his, his self, like his, his being figured out, you know, like he's apparently still wasn't entirely sure, like, even why he was even on Grinder and why he even wanted to experiment with dudes. I, I think that, you know, with straight men especially, you know, you are pressured, you are still pressured to act in a certain way. I think it's that kind of effect that society has that kind of make you, that kind of makes cis straight men like not really explore themselves as much as um other groups and from that point on whenever a bi-curious straight identifying man um contacts me on grinder 
I will always remember this moment and approach with a lot of trepidation. Once again, I've said this multiple times in other videos. Men can be trash, me included, straight men especially. <sighs> I'm hoping that anybody that has been on Grinder can attest to the fact that men are just so exhausting. Just men in general, they're just so exhausting. They're such exhausting people. Yep, so that's my story. Uh, I hope you enjoyed listening to it. Also, I know that a lot of queer men watch my videos, so definitely let me know other crappy experience that you've had on Grindr, especially with bi-curious men, in the comment section below. Okay, bye!